If we took all of the gold that has ever been mined in all of human history and put it all in one place in a giant cube here in Washington, D.C., it would look like this. Oh, this is it. I mean, it's pretty big, but I kind of thought it was going to be a lot bigger. So what's all this gold even used for? Well, 45% of it is used for like decoration and jewelry. You got necklaces, you got earrings, you've got this giant Buddha that's just solid gold. There's an old Egyptian coffin made of pure gold. Largest gold coin in the world. It's got a kangaroo on it. It's 45% of all the gold. You got a small portion of all this stuff that gets used for industry, stuff like the fillings in your teeth or electronic components that use the special properties of gold to work. But then a huge portion of all of this gold is just sitting in vaults around the world, mostly in New York and London, in the form of bars gathering dust. Governments and investors have been on a gold buying spree lately. I mean, look at the price of gold. President Trump is seeking more control of the Federal Reserve. Gold prices soared to a record high after US President Donald Trump criticized Federal Reserve. Russia and China have been buying a lot of gold bars. And Florida is trying to make it so that gold can be used as real money again. It seems like gold is having a comeback. But actually what I'm learning is that it never went away in the first place. Would you look at that? So how did all of this gold get here to Earth? Well, a lot of the gold that humans mined came to us on one of these, an asteroid loaded up with heavy metals that formed from exploding stars. If you zoom into one of those metals, you'll see some really weird looking atoms. The electrons are moving nearly the speed of light. This absorbs the blue light and reflects the yellow and red light. Look, it's yellow, it's shiny, like the sun. No other metal does it quite like this. 